What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm going to be going over the brand new power-up expansions in Madden 21 Ultimate Team guys. Now, we are nearing the final, final little depths of content that we do have in this game. I mean, it's still pretty cool, I guess, that they do get power-up expansions this late. Because, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, although some of you guys may be done with this game, there are some people who don't start playing Madden until the summer, and I'm going to be, like, I was the guy, like, back, so... You know you have your main game, right? Like Madden's your main ultimate team. So you play it from day one to the end, right? And around come summertime, you get bored because you've been playing all year. You hop off the game. Me, back in the day when I hopped off Madden around like May, June-ish, I needed a new game for the summer. So it came down to what should I play? It used to be either FIFA or 2K would be my new my team for the summer, right? Now, I, what I would do is I'd more than likely I'd buy coins. I'd buy like a few million coins for super cheap because it's late in the year. And build a god squad in the summer so these power up expansions do give people who play late in the year or are building these late game theme teams a chance to actually compete and play so it's pretty cool but before we get into the video subscribe turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and let's head on into the video so for our first power up expansion player we have tyrone calico 98 speed now if you guys remember he was one of the best of 50 wide receivers when he first dropped he had 98 speed, 97 excel, 95 agility, 93 awareness, 80 strength. That strength's pretty good for a wide receiver. 97 jumping, 44 returns. So from a general standpoint, the speed and excel stand out, of course. Gonna have 99 speed. Great card. Catching 95, catching traffic 97, short route running 92, medium route running 96, 98 deep route running 97 spec, 96 release. I do think his catching and route running is a bit subpar. I feel like his catch could have been a little bit higher. I feel like his release and short running could have been a little bit higher. But again, still a good card. Put go deep on him. You already know the, D, uh, the, the drill or play fake, depending on how you play. Ball carrier. Decent after the catch. I mean, he has good carry. And 95. 79 trucking. Um, change of direction is a little low to 91. Juke moves a little bit low to 85. It seems like more of a jump ball. Jump ball, deep post kind of receiver. Not exactly an RPO, slant, drag kind of guy, in my opinion. But nonetheless, not bad. You know, average, I guess, run blocking in terms of that. Next, we have Ted Hendrick, left outside linebacker for the Raiders. One of the better cards when he dropped this year because of his height and ability to play zone and be able to hit. So he's got 92 speed off the rip. That's not horrible, depending on how you use him. 94 excel, 87 agility, 95 awareness, 95 strength, 95 play rec. He's got 97 power move, 96 tackle, 88 hit power, 97 pursuit, 94 block shed and 98 impact blocking as well as a 92 zone 88 man coverage the reason i say 92 speed isn't horrible is for this reason only he'll get 90 speed power up and coming up you could just put him at end put him at end he'll have a 99 power move with a 95 block shed or plus and you're gonna have a 94 block shed you're gonna have to put him there he'll pass rush and stop the run right perfect that's good that's that's money well spent but if you're ever in like a tight in, in you know like a, in, a, in a pickle real quick and you gotta put some guy quickly in an outside in like a flat or, or a curl flat or any of those real quick because the way they're running they're gonna run the next play toss him in the zone he has the zone coverage toss him in a man he can man up a tight end real quick with 94 speed with a with a 90 plus man when you put on lockdown on him he can be used in many many different scenarios which is why i like him and he's six foot seven which can't be understated uh pretty good card in my opinion next you have darren waller i'm starting a little quicker with these because obviously this could take a while darren waller 95 speed 96 excel 96 awareness that's what stands out from the first page he's gonna have 97 speed i wish it was like 99 obviously but still six foot six 97 speed really can't discount that 99 catching crazy 98 catching traffic crazy 99 short running 97 medium and 99 95 deep right running you put go deep on this guy and he will have a 99 deep or you put play fake he'll have 99 medium 99 spec and 97 release is one of the best receiving receivers in the game in general 90 carrying with 85 change of direction 85 juke move as well as 75 run blocking which is decent i would say like decent it's not he's not gonna be some meta tight end run blocker but he's gonna be good good enough to use i actually really do like this card he'll be good as well um let's see next we have darren what we have chad johnson chad johnson Bengals, 96 speed again i wish it was 97 because now he's not gonna 99 which is going to hurt him 97 excel 96 agility 97 awareness 96 jumping um general looks more like a card from three months ago not exactly a 99 end game card 98 catching is amazing 94 catch and traffic is a little bit low 96 short 97 medium 98 deep so he will not get 99 in every single one he can get 99 short and medium and then you can leave deep at 98 spec catch 98 is good 96 release is good but great after the catch 97 carrying 98 ball carrier vision 97 juke move 95 spin move 98 change of direction 97 break tackle that's a great card after the catch uh average i would say average to below average run block for uh, wide receiver 
but again the speed's gonna hurt him only 98 speed definitely hurts in you know july of course um next we have david andrew center for the patriots here's you guys it's gonna be simple 99 overall center you really can't go wrong when it comes to 99 overall linemen. They're going to be good. 87 Excel is good. 70 speed is decent. Going to be an average uh, athleticism S center, but it is a center. I would say he probably doesn't need it as much as some of the other positions. Um, running block. Run block, I'm sorry. 99 run block. 98 run block finesse. 98, 99 run block power. So he's going to be a max out run blocker. 97 pass block. 97 pass block finesse. 96 pass block power. 94 lead block. 97 impact blocking. One of the best centers in the game chem out and he's gonna probably end up being 99 across the board with good acceleration and decent speed for center guys and he's probably a cheap option considering the price of training right now very 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 good card in my opinion and then finally guys you have ricky williams halfback for the dolphins 95 speed is killer because that's going to ruin this card max speed's gonna be 97 excel is gonna probably drop down to 96 92 agility 98 awareness 89 jumping this card already sucks off the bat in my opinion 98 carries great 90 ball carry vision is great. 79 juke is horrible. 85 spin is horrible. 97 truck and stiff arm at 97 are cool. And 98 break tackle is cool. Here's the thing. And you only have 90 change of direction. I know guys with 99 change of direction, 90 juke, 90 spin, and 97 truck, right? So why would they give us a car that literally can't, he can't, he literally can't move laterally. He can only go north and south. And even then he's not going to be the fastest at doing so. This card, in my opinion, is trash. And that's going to be all of your power expansions for today, guys. So overall, we have Tyrone Calico. Calico, Ted Hendricks, Darren Waller, Chad Ochocinco, Chad Johnson, uh, David Andrews, and Ricky Williams. In order to rank them, worst one's Ricky Williams. Second worst is probably going to be, uh, it's probably going to be Tyrone Calico. Uh, my third worst, so the worst, the, the bottom third are going to be Ricky Williams, Tyrone Calico, and probably Ted Hendricks. I think Ted Hendricks is good, I just don't think he's a top three. And I'd say Darren Waller, Chad Johnson, no, actually no, I back up. Chad Johnson's the third worst, uh, fourth worst, because he he's slow. Top three, Ted Hendricks, Darren Waller, and David Andrews. I think uh, Darren Waller's probably the most excited. People probably most excited about him, followed by David Andrews and then Ted Hendricks. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. I'm out. Peace.